Hi, my name's Nick, and this short video is about the basics of testing visual acuity, or VAs. It's not the test you get at the optician, so corrective lenses, glasses, or contact lenses should be worn. There are lots of different charts out there, but probably the most common you will see outside a specialist centre will be the Snellen chart, or, if someone cannot read English, the Tumbling E chart, where you ask the person to point at which way the letter E is facing. We will leave the Logmar chart to those clever chaps and chapesses in ophthalmology. The standard visual acuity test should be performed at 6 metres from the chart. However, few of us have an examining room that is 6 metres long, so often we cheat by sitting the patient 3 metres in from a mirror with a backwards facing Snellen chart behind them reflected in it, or use special smaller charts designed for use at closer range. Ask the patient to cover their left eye first with the palm of their hand and read down the chart to the lowest line they can. There is a number on this chart besides the line. In this case, it's 24. What does this mean? Well, it means that they can only see at 6 metres what they should be able to see, in this case, at 24 metres. We record the visual acuity as the distance from the chart against the lowest line red. So in this case, 6, 24. If they can only see the top line, then it will be expressed as 6, 60. If we're using a smaller chart, such as a 3 metre chart, we still take that into account, so we still express the distance as 6 metres, even though we are testing at less. Normal vision is 6-6, six, six, i.e. they can see at 6 metres what they should be able to see at 6 metres. If you hear people talking about 20-20 vision, then they're talking in feet. If the patient's vision is not 6-6, six, six, then there's something wrong. Your patient may simply have a problem focusing, referred to as a refractive error, i.e. they're long or short-sighted, or there may be a problem with the eye itself. We can check this by asking the patient to redo the test using pinholes, which will correct for some refractory errors. Sometimes you may see VAs expressed as 612 plus 3, or 69 part, or 69 minus 2. Confusingly, they all mean exactly the same thing, that the patient can read down to the line 12 and get three letters from the next line down part of line 9, or all of line 9, apart from 2. But what if they can't even see the top line? Well, move the patient progressively closer to the chart until they can see the top line. How would we express the VAs now? Well, it's done on the same principle. The distance from the chart over the lowest line read. So if the patient at 3 metres can only read the top line of a 6 metre chart, it will be expressed as 360. If they need to be at 1 metre to read the top line, it will be 160. So what if they can't even read the top line at 1 metre? Well, we can progress to counting fingers. Failing that, can they see hand movement? And finally, if they can't see hand movement, can they perceive light? Once the right eye has been tested, then repeat all with the left eye. Other things to test is near vision. Give the patient a near vision chart and hold it at a normal reading distance. Ask them which is the easiest print to read. N8 is the size of newsprint. Another possible test is colour vision using the Ishihara chart. Asking the patient if they can see a number in the various patterns. In medical practice, this is rarely tested outside of specialist areas. So there we have visual acuity in a nutshell. Short, sweet and simple. Test the patient at 6 metres or equivalent. Test each eye individually. Ask them to read down to the lowest line they can. Record the VAs as 6 over the number of the lowest line read. If the vision is not 6-6, six, six, then retest with a pinhole to correct for any refractory errors. If they can't read the top line, then move the patient progressively closer until they can and use that as the distance. Make sure you watch our other videos on ophthalmology and come along to a practical workshop to put it all into practice.